YouTube, this is another episode of ASAP Hit Info, coming at you with another video. This video is going to be, uh, pretty sweet, got some new fish in the fish room, working on setting up a couple things, uh, set up a couple, well, not really, sort of not really, but, uh, show you my reptiles and fish, and maybe a couple dogs if they want to be in the video, so let's get to it. So, we'll start over here, um... Down at Poseidon's tank, the one guy who whose tank didn't change at all, really, uh, other than the fact that his plant is out of there again. Uh, mean as ever, awesome as ever. Um, he's pretty great. I'll give you a close up of his face. Get in that mouth. Oh yeah, there he is. Show you his patterning. Let's see if he'll show off to us. He usually does. He doesn't like the camera, so... He usually flares at us. Come on, do it. Do it. He looks really good whenever he does, uh, does it. Uh, anyways, yeah, I don't think he's gonna do it, so... Now I'll move on to up here. This is where uh, a couple of new fish are. Uh, so as you can see right there, a Siamese algae eater. Um, he's not the only one, uh, here I got a flashlight right here. See if you might be able to see it. Right there. That's a Chinese algae eater, and I know, uh, one of you on one of my videos, I think in my most recent video, said not to get Chinese algae eaters because they eat fish. Now, I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I'm going to take your word for it, whoever you were. I don't remember your YouTube handle. Uh, now, I'm not going to be keeping him. Once he gets too big, I'll probably put him either in the 55-gallon tank over there, uh, or I will trade him in for a smaller one. But uh, time will tell. Um, you may be wondering what happened to the sunfish in here. He's still alive. Don't worry, I'll get to his story later. But Megan's in here again. Um, she's probably behind the pot. She doesn't really like the algae eaters. Uh, so I'm going to be working with her to get her uh, into a different tank soon. So, moving on to this tank. This is where I got even more new fish. Um, as you can see, I still have my two rams that I plan to get rid of soon, but uh, they will be leaving the fish room this coming Tuesday, most most likely. But let's get on to the new fish. What basically I'm making this video for is showing you the new fish. These are Zebra Danios, or Danio Rario. Scientific name. Uh, one of them, this guy right here, I'm pretty sure he's inbred. Uh, this sucker is like deformed and little and weird and awkward, but uh, I'm going to keep him anyways, uh, whatever, no harm done really. Uh, so I have seven zebra daniels in here with my rams, they're all doing great, they're all peaceful together, which is really nice. Uh, I'm not sure if these guys are going to stay in here, I might move them into the 20 gallon long eventually, uh, but you know still thinking, but they're okay in here, actually more than okay in here until time tells of what I'll do with these guys, I'll try and get you a close-up of some of them if they'll stop moving. Uh, very interesting fish, um, I did make a species profile of these guys on the hydroforms.com, so go check those uh, species profiles as well as others out, looks like these two are having a little squabble. Uh, but they're chilling in here. Uh, pretty cool. Love these fish. Probably my favorite schooling fish I've ever owned before. Uh, so moving on to the next new fish. Um, I got three platies, two red wag platies, which you can see here, which I believe this one right here is actually pregnant. Um, you can tell sort of how... Platy's pregnant, they'll start getting black spots on their bodies, their belly will start to get nice and fat, uh, and, you know, she looks pretty dang fat, um, 
I'm sorry about this uh, light. This uh, tank has extremely high lighting on it. There will be more plants set in here. I did put some plants in here, my moss balls, and whatever that stuff is, which I still haven't figured out. And so both the red wag platies I got females of, and I got uh, one male red uh, Mickey Mouse platy, which you can see right, right there. And these, this is the wag platies. Now the other fish are a either it's either a snake skin or a cobra female guppy, and also have a uh, an orange some sort of female uh, guppy up, up up there. I had a male, but he did die. He was not in good condition when I got him, but I will be getting another one soon, so look forward to a new male, and I will be breeding these guys. Uh, so I'll get my first breeding project ever up and running. Got the uh, pre-filter on here. Uh, I might end up moving these guys into the 20 gallon or something like that. Not really sure yet, but uh, moving on. Uh, this is the sunfish, and this is also where Poseidon's plant went. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you the story of him. Uh, basically, what happened is I got the algae eaters and I put them in this tank, and he was uh, bugging them and stuff. I had three, but he actually killed one of the Chinese algae eaters. I had two, but he killed the other one. Um, so I, I got mad. Okay, and I took him out of the tank, and I decided, I'll, okay, I'll move him into this tank. This tank's pretty much ready. Um, and this tank sort of doesn't have a lid on it. Well, it does sort of have a, a, a lid on it now. Uh, and uh, I was Skyping with Fish Guide HD, um, and uh, I for and I, you know, he asked if he could see my new fish. So I came back into the fish room and I was showing him everything. And uh, I showed this tank and I was like, "Where the crap is, is the freaking, where the crap is the freaking sunfish?" So I'm looking around. I figured, okay, maybe he went behind the sponge filter. Remove the sponge filter, and he wasn't there. So I start freaking out. Um, and I go above this tank, and I look back here where all my plugging and, and stuff like that is, and I see him, and he's sitting right there. He jumped out of the tank. His slime coat was completely dry. He was very discolored, covered in dirt and dog hair and all that good stuff. And honestly, I had very low doubts of him even living uh, but miraculously, a miracle happened, and he really did make it, so super, you know, hyped about that, um, he does have some discoloring, and he is no longer as spunky as he was before, because he's extremely stressed and injured right now, but I did put, uh, API stress sign, stress sign, and API stress coat in his tank, and uh, basically, that just helps uh, heal fins and uh, replace slime coat. And that definitely, I am giving credit to that company and that product for helping him survive. But yeah, that's all the new fish um, and the old fish as well. Um, so let's move on to the reptiles. I'm not really going to show him because he's in Burmation right now, which means he's basically just going to be sitting in his hut for a long time. Uh, but he should be out of Burmation pretty soon, actually. He's been doing it for a while. But I will show you the turtle. Uh, this is my common snapping turtle. Crush. Uh, I did a bit of water change on his tank. It's still pretty dang dirty because turtles are very filthy animals. Let's see if he'll bite my finger. Okay, seems completely uninterested, but if you do want to see him bite something, I'll feed him for you. Uh, I'll put you above here so you can look at him. Oh, he's getting ready. He is getting ready.
Okay, well that's... Oh man, this food smells like crap. Okay, buddy, you ready? Oh, there he goes. So he's doing absolutely great. Uh, close the food lid. Now, a uh, tank I'm going to be working on setting up is this 55 gallon tank right here. Um, and I am going to temporarily be putting the bluegill in here once I do set it up. Of course, it still will be for the Jack Dempsey breeding, but this is, you know... I'm going to put the bluegill in here for a while, so I'll be sand putting sand bottom in this because... I love this quick creep pool filter sand that I've been using. You don't have to really clean it, and it looks natural. It's great. Um, so, yeah, I'll be putting plants, live plants most likely, in here. And it's just going to be awesome, so stay tuned for that. Um, need to buy another bag of sand and all sorts of other junk for it, but uh, we'll be working on it. So, comment, rate, subscribe, respect the hobby, respect the hobbyist, and most importantly, respect the fish. I hope you enjoy the video, and peace out.